Hello everybody, I'm doing a video on something I normally wouldn't do a video on. This is a candle channel, but I got this product that's new, well fairly new, that um, there are not too many videos out about, so I wanted to give my little two cents worth. So that's why um, you're seeing this particular video. I want to say a couple of things before I begin. I am not a techie whatsoever. Um, I only have basic knowledge of certain things that are out. Um, I don't have specs and all that stuff for you. Um, I'm just, I don't have that type of knowledge base, so I want to put that out there for you. Um, also, please excuse the video. I am just using a cheap little camera stand right now to do this, so you're not going to get the best quality video. I'm just kind of giving you what I've experienced about a new product that I don't see too many videos out about yet. So this is for the Amazon Echo Loop Ring. It came out with the glasses that they have as well. You apply for an invitation and then if approved you will get an invitation to order the sizing kit. I no longer have that but the sizing kit um, you just get a little box and it consists of Four plastic rings, small, medium, large, extra large. You try it on for a day, trying different sizes to see what best fits your finger. Um, throughout the day, your fingers kind of swell and go down throughout the day, so they suggest trying at least two sizes that you think you would wear and wear it throughout the day and see which one best fits you. I've seen that there's a lot of complaints about the sizing of the ring and I can understand it because it kind of seems like it's almost a half size difference than what you would normally wear in a ring. My left hand and my right hand I saw are different sizes. Um, I have heart failure so my extremities swell and I noticed that my left fingers are smaller than my right. Um, I wear the medium and it's just teeny bit bigger on my right hand and quite a bit bigger on my left but the medium is actually the size I ended up picking because that's what fits my fingers um, and it's suggested that you wear it on your pointer finger because that's going to be the easiest way to use this ring because you will use your thumb to depress the button um, this little sleeve was on it on the case that I'm about to show you. And you take it out of this little sleeve and then you just have this case. And like I said, I'm using a camera stand so this is not the optimal way to do this video. Um, so there it has the medium size of mine. And then you can see the echo loop ring. I'm gonna take it out of the box so you can see it better. And Underneath, I don't need to show you all this, underneath this um, blue area, you'll get a little quick start guide and it will have your little charger here. And the charger, let me show you this. It has these little prongs, I don't know how well you can see that. And it will match up with the little uh, magnetic prongs in the ring and that's how you're gonna charge it. A lot of people were complaining that it's not wireless charging and it's not, it's the uh, micro USB charger, but I don't mind that. I don't have a wireless charger. I have an old iPhone, so that's not an issue for me. Okay, so here is the ring, and like I said, this is a medium, and let me see if I can get the little charger prongs to show up in there. See those little gold specs right there that's what you're going to put up against the um, matching ones on the charger okay people say it's very bulky um i don't think it's too bad in my opinion i'm just going to leave this here so you can look at that since i'm just going to be talking in my opinion i don't think it's too bulky um it's kind of big yeah it's going to be noticeable but I had no issues with it. People said it was a little bit uncomfortable wearing throughout the day. I don't find any issue with that. I'm totally cool with it. Um, 
I mainly got it because I have a lot of health issues and I have some memory loss issues as well. So there are so many times when I'm out, there's something I need a reminder about. It's so much easier to use the ring instead of just pulling out my phone, especially if I'm in the doctor's office and they're saying, like the other day, I forgot to wear the ring. And I was in my doctor's office and they were telling me a couple of reminders. And I know I was going to forget them. And if I would have had my ring at the time, I could have, you know, set my reminder right there in the office without just whipping out a phone and searching for the Alexa app and doing all that stuff. I could just push the button and reminded myself. So that's pretty much, you know, things that I would use it for. Um, you know, checking the temperature while I'm out, checking the time while I'm out, if I'm trying to look for a place real quick. If I need to get my, uh, call my mom real quick and I just don't feel like whipping out the phone, you can pick one contact that you can do like a quick call for. Um, you can even listen to music on this. So it's just, if you're invested in Alexa as much as I am, because I use it all the time at home, it might be something that'll be good for you on the go. Um, I just think it's a good thing for me personally. There is some couple issues that I do agree with other people. The volume is very low. You can tell it to set it up to volume 10 and just put it up to your ear. And to me, it's not really bad. If you have it set on level 10, you can hear clearly what she's saying to you. And um, when I was making a call to my mom, she told me that the call quality was great. She said it actually sounded better than my phone or my Echo Dot at home. So the other person on the other line, they're getting a good call. But the volume is low. If you're hard of hearing, you definitely don't want to get this. Um, what else? The only other issue I really saw, which kind of can be an issue if for battery drainage, is I could not get this thing to cut off. It says push it once and then push it and hold it for three seconds. I must have did that like 20 times before I could get it cut off. And that is really irritating to me because then I don't know if it's off or not or if it's draining because it's supposed to give a very long vibrate. So when I was pushing it once, I was getting a vibration. So I, at first I wasn't sure if that was it or not, but it said a long vibration. So I knew that couldn't be right. So when I checked my battery later, it was only 19%. So I knew it wasn't off. So they really need to fix how you turn this ring off because it's a big hassle and um, it doesn't work good. Other than that, I haven't had any real issues. Um, the little button that you push to activate, let me see if I can get that clearly on here. It's actually kind of hard to see. It's not actually on the side. I don't think I'm going to get that well enough for you to see on here. Uh, I don't think I'm going to get that on there well enough for you to see. But it's not directly on in the middle on the side. It's kind of in a weird position. And that can be a little bit odd when you're trying to press it. Because you have to press it in hard to activate the ring. It's not something you're just going to tap like on say some ear but wireless earbuds how you just like tap tap it and it works you've actually got to push the button in so it's kind of weird the position they have it and if you're going to wear it on your middle finger or your pinky or something it's going to be at an odd position for you to do so that's why i said the pointer finger is the best one because you just use your thumb to depress it um so you know that's going to be a little bit of an issue for people that maybe their fingers are extra large but it's just fitting them and they can't you know put it on that particular finger so that's another complaint I've heard and that is a valid one now I saw a woman do a video and I, I think she was just doing a video to hate on it because she said she kept on accidentally hitting the button and she was making calls constantly 
that is completely impossible. You can't just keep accidentally pushing up against the button to make it call someone because the button is not something that's sticking out of the ring, it's in it. So you have to physically push in the button. You can't just tap it, you have to push it in. So there's no way this woman was doing that. Um, I think that's about it. All in all, you know, the volume quality is not great. Um, for some people, the sizing is gonna be a little bit hard. Um, pushing in that little button, if it's not on your pointer finger, it might be a little bit of a test. And as I said, my biggest issue was trying to get the thing turned off um, by pushing it the way they instructed. Those factors for me are not enough to discourage me from having it. I think for me personally, the pros outweigh the cons. To a lot of other people, I think the cons are gonna outweigh the pros. As I said, you really have to be invested in using Alexa a lot. Um, otherwise, it's not going to be something you're going to want to blow this kind of cash on. I think maybe after the novelty uh, wears off and this item goes down in price, it might be something that you might like for on the go. But most people have their smart watches and other things that they're going to use. It's just you really have to be invested in the Amazon products for this to be really worthwhile to you. Um, the introductory price for people that are the um, uh, initial users is $129.99. After that, it's going to go to $179.99. But I think the price is really going to quickly go down cheaper because, as I said, so many people use watches and other products that they definitely, you know, definitely may not have a real strong use for something like this. Um, all in all, I think it's cool. For me, it's perfect, and I like it. Um, so please don't bash me on this video. As I said before, I'm using a cheap little camera stand for the video. Sorry I couldn't show you that button really good. Um, and I'm not a techie. I'm just giving you my little personal review of this. So thank you for watching, guys, and I hope you are having a wonderful day or wonderful evening wherever you are.